Alright, so first off I'm going to talk about the materials that you'll need uh, to build this project. So first you're going to need a base to put the whole thing onto obviously. Then you'll need an ultrasonic sensor, uh, one of these guys. Then you'll need some spare cardboard uh, for building the support for the ultrasonic sensor. Then you're going to be putting that support onto the servo motor which will be rotating the radar. And obviously you need an Arduino. Um, you'll also obviously need a computer uh, and a USB serial uh, cord. Oh yeah, you're also going to want um, some jumper cables as well to make connections between the Arduino and the motor and the sensor. Alright, so the first thing we're going to assemble or put together is going to be the support uh, structure for the little ultrasonic sensor here. So um, basically all I've got is some cardboard, I'm going to use some glue gun uh, and some tape maybe and put this guy together. Alright, so here we go. Um, really all I did is took some cardboard, glued it, this kind of shape. Um, put the ultrasonic sensor into some grooves on the side uh, and then cut a little hole under here for these uh, female heads uh, female and male uh, headed jumper wires so that's that done and we can move on to attaching the servo motor to it alright so using the glue gun I just glue gun the cap of the servo motor on to the bottom of the support um, and that just fits right on top of the servo motor like that so that's that done now I just need to glue the servo motor onto the support Alright, so now that that's all glued down, uh, we can put the ultrasonic sensor onto the servo motor, and it should fit, um, and it should move around like that. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring the servo motor to its edge, um, to its most counterclockwise edge, and then what you're going to want to do is place the ultrasonic sensor in the position that we want it to be when it is at its most clockwise edge. So servo motors can only go uh, 180 degrees so we are planning for it to go like this and then reach its, oh well okay it reaches a little, the edge a little further um, but uh, we're only going to be spinning it 180 so it should turn out something like this. Yeah, so now we can put the Arduino onto it, plug all these in, uh, and then get right to uh, the code. Also, uh, right before we start out, uh, I just want to show uh, where the pins go. So the servo motor uh, has these three, these three wires. So the orange wire which is the sensor wire goes to pin 11 uh, the red wire which is VCC goes to V in on the Arduino board um, and the brown wire goes to ground on the Arduino board and for the ultrasonic sensor um, the trigger pin goes on to pin 9, the uh, echo pin goes on to pin 10, and then power, uh, the VCC goes to 5 volt and ground to ground. Um, so yeah, now we can jump into the code. Mm -hmm. 
So here's all the code all finished. Um, I'm not going to explain it right now in the video uh, for two reasons. One, um, I don't want to get a screen recorder and two, uh, it's really bad and embarrassing and I don't want to talk about it. So I'll leave a link to the code in the description and you can, if you really want to look at it, you can download it from there. All right, um, so this is the final product right here. So it works. Um, you can see it's spinning right like that. Moves left and right on the servo, just like the code tells it to. And it uses a radar. Um, so if you look, the big red spot over here is actually uh, the big pile of garbage I have on my desk um, and sometimes it malfunctions towards the middle for some reason I don't know why um, and it misreads a little bit and stops moving but it's not that bad um, and yeah that's the ultrasonic uh, sonar um, built with an Arduino and uh, yeah that's about it a servo motor and a ultrasonic sensor I also added a little baby breadboard here just to make it easier um, but uh, yeah thanks for watching the video uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you liked it so yeah